It's no secret that within the last 50 years, there has been a surge in scientific discoveries, modern technology amongst many other factors has been at the forefront of understanding the universe and its secrets better. The last decade has been particularly rife with some amazing discoveries made by scientists all over the globe. With so many discoveries being made, it's easy for some to go under the radar. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at these recent scientific discoveries. Carbine The strongest material in the world is an impressive title to hold. Throughout history, what we had believed to be the strongest materials have been eclipsed by new discoveries and a better understanding of science. It was only a few years ago we discovered what is still regarded as the world's strongest material. In 2016, scientists in Vienna managed to create the first stable form of carbine, originally theorized in 1855 by Adolf van Bayer. Carbine, or linear acetylenic carbine, is essentially an infinitely long carbon chain and is also a one-dimensional allotrope of carbon. Carbine has a chemical structure with alternating single and triple bonds. The structure of carbine is what's so impressive, giving a Young's modulus of 32.7 TPA. The Young's modulus is the measure of the ability of a material to withstand changes in length when under lengthwise tension or compression. To put that into perspective, it is 40 times stronger than diamond and 30 times stronger than carbon nanotubes. It is regarded as stronger than graphene. As stated on scientific websites, graphene is, basically, a single atomic layer of graphite, an abundant mineral which is an allotrope of carbon that is made up of very tightly bonded carbon atoms organized into a hexagonal lattice. But graphene was actually needed in creating stable carbine. The scientists pressed two layers of graphene together and rolled them to create double-walled carbon nanotubes. This was then wrapped around the carbon chains, allowing them to stay stable. Without these nanotubes, this would not be possible. This discovery in 2016 was record-breaking. The previous record for the number of carbon atoms in one continuous change was 100. It's now an astonishing 6,400 using the technique discovered. Carbine is now regarded as the strongest material in the world. Cryovolcanoes on Ceres in the main asteroid belt that sits between Mars and Jupiter lies Ceres, the largest of the asteroids. Ceres, first discovered in 1801 by Giuseppe Piazzi, was originally classified as a planet. This was until other large objects were discovered in the same neighborhood as Ceres. Astrologists at the time realized they were looking at a new type of object in space, so the term asteroid, meaning star-like, was first coined to describe these new objects. In the 1860s, it was widely accepted that these large asteroids had major differences to the planets we know, but a specific definition of planet was never formulated. At the 2006 Pluto debate, it was discussed the specific criteria that had to be met in order for an object to be considered a planet. Had it not been for a modification to this criteria stating the planet must have cleared the neighborhood around its orbit, Ceres would today be the fifth planet from the Sun. Obviously, due to the asteroid belt it lies within, Ceres is not classified as a planet but a dwarf planet and an asteroid simultaneously. Now, whilst the controversy surrounding Ceres' classification is certainly interesting, that's not what we're going to discuss today. Ceres itself is home to something much more fascinating. Since early 2015, NASA's Dawn spacecraft has orbited the icy world of Ceres, examining its surface closely. It wasn't until quite a few months had passed that the Dawn would observe something so fascinating but so bizarre at the same time. It was a 13,000-foot-tall mound closely resembling what we know as a volcano. Scientists named it Ahuna Mons. In 2016, it was confirmed that Ahuna Mons was indeed a volcano, but not your average volcano, a cryovolcano. A cryovolcano is, as you can imagine, a volcano but with a twist. Instead of releasing molten rock or lava like the volcanoes we have on Earth, a cryovolcano erupts water, methane or ammonia. The water and other gases released often turn into a solid form once exposed to the low temperature surrounding the volcano, hence the more colloquial name 
ice volcanoes. These eruptions are referred to as cryomagma, or cryolava. During eruption, they are liquid but are also released as a vapor. Cryovolcanoes are thought to be able to form on moons and asteroids that used to have an abundance of water. The reason Ahuna Mons erupts water and other substances rather than magma is simple. The temperatures on Ceres are simply too cold to melt rock, but warm enough that ice can melt. Ahuna Mons was only able to be understood more when scientists examined mineral salt, likely the product of a cryovolcanic eruption. Inside the Okator crater found it had origins in Ahuna Mons, which in turn relates both fascinating natural structures. The Okator crater is 57 miles across and as deep as Ahuna Mons is high. The large impact that tore the giant Okator crater into the surface of the dwarf planet must have originally started everything and triggered the later cryovolcanic activity, says Andreas Nathus, framing camera lead investigator for Max Planck. After this event, rock around the planet reshuffled and moved up towards the surface. The change in pressure allowed water and dissolved gases to escape that would eventually form a volcano. It's also suggested that many smaller explosions around the dwarf planet caused the cryovolcanism rather than one major event. Cryovolcanism isn't exclusive to Ceres, though, as it has been spotted on Enceladus, one of Saturn's moons, Europa, a moon of Jupiter, and Triton. Neptune's largest moon. Cryovolcanoes are a fascinating insight into the wonders of the universe and things we couldn't even imagine being possible. The universe is expanding faster than we thought. Whilst we may not be able to feel, see or really understand it, the universe is constantly expanding. This, however, is not in the normal sense of the word. We are located within our galaxy, the Milky Way. However, the galaxies outside of ours are moving away from us, and the galaxies that are the farthest away are moving away from us faster. If you were to be in a different galaxy, for example, this would be the same. All galaxies outside of that galaxy would be moving away from it, even our own. They are not moving in the conventional sense of the word because they're moving with space rather than passing through. Whilst difficult to understand, the universe itself has no center and everything within it is actually moving away from everything else. A famous analogy coined to explain this expansion is thinking of the universe as a loaf of raisin bread dough. As it is cooked, it rises and expands and as a result, the raisins move away from one another but they are still inside the bread. At this point, you might be asking, why isn't Earth moving away from everything else then? This is because on a local scale, such as around us, gravity keeps everything together and holds it in place. This was first discovered in 1925 by Edwin Hubble, the man the famous Hubble telescope is named after, and he proved that there was a direct relationship between the speeds of distant galaxies and their distances from Earth. This is now known as Hubble's law. The number, meaning the rate of cosmic expansion in relation to speeds of galaxies and their distance from Earth, is known as the Hubble constant. In the last couple of years, even up to this year, new evidence is suggesting that the universe is expanding much faster than initially first thought. The universe is outpacing all our expectations in its expansion. And that is very puzzling, says lead study author Adam Rees, an astronomer at Johns Hopkins University who co-won the 2011 Nobel Prize in Physics for helping discover dark energy. This new evidence suggests that measurements of the Hubble constant mentioned earlier using cosmic microwave background, the afterglow of the early universe and the Big Bang is actually conflicting with estimates of younger stars and even the Milky Way. This discrepancy is still apparent even after taking into account dark energy and other cosmic forces that are thought to be speeding up the universe's expansion. This has and is still disputed by other scientists and cosmologists as incorrect or incomplete data. However, fresh research from the Hubble as new as 2019 suggests this gap is actually larger than ever. It is estimated that the universe as we know it is expanding up to 9% faster than we originally thought when examining the trajectory of the universe's expansion from the Big Bang. What does this mean? Well, the discrepancy between the rate we believe the universe is expanding now and what we believed it should be from the trajectory created from the Big Bang means that scientists could be missing an essential factor in the cosmological model, 
when measuring that would account for this discrepancy. For now, at least, what's missing is a mystery. But with all the fascinating discoveries we've talked about today, it would be no surprise if, in a couple of years from now, we were discussing a new strongest material or a new type of formation on a distant planet or even a new theory of the universe. We just don't know. One thing is for sure, though, as we try and figure out this wacky, wonderful universe, is that it certainly won't be boring. But what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.